Hey everybody, it's your boy Brick Ripper here. I'm here to tell you something. I've been working with a guy who will tell you that he believes wholeheartedly that his earth is flat. The earth he lives on is flat, okay? I don't know why, but he's been talking to me for about a week on this, and I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it. So I've come up with my own theory. I don't think it's flat. I don't think it's round. I'm here to tell you what it is. So you mean to tell me it's round like this, rotating on its axis, you got the moon, you got the sun, okay? So wouldn't this section, if it rotates on its axis at a slant, wouldn't this section be hotter than this section down here or up here? Okay, wouldn't this section here be a little colder than this section or this section? It doesn't make any sense. It's rotating on its axis, okay? You know what I say to that? Whack. I'll tell you what it is, though. It's a conveyor belt. This is not space. This is empty, okay? All your little continents, this is the rotation. And I can tell you right now, I'm not entirely sure what the rotation is, whether it's this way, whether it's this way, who knows? No way of knowing. What I do know is if you've ever done division, that's a division sign poorly drawn, that is what the Earth resembles, okay? Your moon and sun do not orbit us. We rotate. The entire country moves, okay? So your sun, this is daytime, you come up, you're like, oh, the sun's rising, great, oh, la, 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 go throughout the day, whatever, oh, the sun's setting, great, so now you go to sleep, you keep moving, all right? There's your day and night, there's your different weathers, okay, because you're getting away from the warm, oh, you know, there's an incline, you can adjust the incline just like a treadmill, now if it's inclined like this, okay, you're traveling up, oh, it's too hot, global warming, everybody panic, oh my gosh, okay, so we adjust the incline back down, boom. Oh my gosh, now everything's way too cold. We're too far away from the sun. Global cooling. Oh, let's just keep making things up. Great. All right. Plus, that's just poor heat distribution is what that is. That's ignorant. Now, planes. You think you're flying to wherever? Oh, let's go to, let's go to France. Let's go to wherever. Oh, great. Cool. You get up in the air. You think that you're flying? You're not. You're hovering. You got fan turbines that are blowing out air back because the rotational force of the conveyor belt earth would continue to pull you around. But you've got those fans blowing out the back, keeping you where you're at. And then the continents come to you. But this is the improper way to fly. You're flying against the grain. You're being held in one place while the continents come to you. Wrong. There's your 14 hour, 15 hour, 20 hour flights. Incorrect. The correct way is to go with the grain, not against it, because you got those fans blowing out, so not only are you lifted up and everything's moving, you've got the fans blowing with you. So you're flying around, and you finally get where you went, four hour, five hour flight, whatever. Okay, great. Now if you notice, you can tell this is the sun by the pretty sunbeams. You can tell this is the moon because it's got the cheese wheel like craters. It is not a soccer ball. But how does the world rotate, you wonder quietly to yourself? I'll tell you how, okay? Boom. Ken. His name is not Ken, spelled edgy with an I, okay? And pot. Pot, not a drug. Notice the arrow. There's no correlation. Drugs, hugs, the whole deal. That's not what I'm here for. What I am here for is to wake you up. Think back to school. Ken. And pot. Kinetic potential. Kinetic is your positive energy working into the ground because you're walking around, you're doing things, blah, 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 building up that kinetic energy that's going down into the ground. Awesome. What about nighttime? You come around, you're going to sleep. Z, Z, Z. Okay, you're sleeping. That's your negative energy that you're storing up, your potential energy, not drugs. It's going into the ground. It's going into the ground. It's storing up. You know, it's keeping the negative side of this battery that you call flat round, conveyor belt earth, whatever, great, cool. But Brick, how does the potential energy get into the ground? Boom, your boy's here to tell you. You tell me you got a metal bed frame, I say word. You tell me you got anything other than a metal bed frame, i.e. wood frame, whack. You know why? Because a metal frame acts as a ground for potential energy. The ground. You try to hook something to a ground, you tell me how it goes, it'll go right. You try to hook something that can't be used as ground, it's not a good conductor, whack. Again. Ground for potential energy. Not drugs again. Okay. Now, how does it rotate? Ball bearings. These ball bearings have to be changed. One theory I've heard 
Area 51 houses like maintenance aliens. Okay, you send them out every once in a while, they go out and they replace the bearings. Cool. All right, so I got a question. They thought they were going to stump me. Oh, what about earthquakes? Earthquakes are ball bearings that are breaking, breaking down. Break, you never see a ball bearing break down? It's like, okay, can't handle it. Got to go out and change it. That's an earthquake, okay? Stars. Stars are old ball bearings that are broken, and they're floating away in space. Okay, go on, doing this. Okay, that's what they are. Light bouncing off them from the sun or the moon. You know, that's their glistening. They're not stars. Stars don't exist. They're a myth. Okay? Just like global warming and cooling. It's a myth. It's just an incorrect incline. You turn it up too high, everything's getting way too hot, and everything's melting. Ice caps are gone. Polar bears are, like, shaving themselves down. Okay? Then what? You overcorrect. You ever be driving a car and you slide? And you're like, whoa. So you turn this way, and when you catch traction, you've gone too far. you got to overcorrect back. That's what happened. You went crooked, everything melted, oh crap, let's do this so we can cool off real fast. Uh, wrong, because now there's global cooling, which is a myth, it's a wrong incline. Duh. Okay, these shooting stars aren't shooting stars, they're ball bearings, they're like they're breaking out and they're shooting, you're like, oh my gosh, make a wish, wrong. Go out and fix it. I mean, gosh. The next thing you need to realize is that San Andreas Fault, okay, the Grand Canyon, okay, um, stuff like that, they're all tears in the fabric of this conveyor belt earth, okay, you know what we do with those, uh, Grand Canyon, nothing you can do, the fault, fault lines, uh, I mean, we complain about them a lot, sure, that's not a, you know, solution, so what do we do, well, you got a tear in the fabric like this, and you're like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do, there's a tear, okay, somebody's like, let's make this giant metal construction, Call it a bridge, okay? Originally, they were like, let's name it a stitch. It's like, ah, no, can't name stitches. We already got stitches. Well, uh, uh, let's try britches. Uh, these are britches, fool. Can't do that. It's already used. It's already a word. Well, you can name it. Uh, bridges. And they're like, oh, my gosh, Jeff, you're a genius, okay? So Jeff comes up with the name Bridges. Everybody, not Jeff Bridges, but Jeff, the employee who designed Bridges, they cleverly disguise them, fill it up with water, whatever. You think, oh, it's a bridge from point A to point B. Wrong. It's keeping the world from falling apart, just unfolding, flying away like a broken waistband after Thanksgiving. It don't work that way, okay? Fault lines, stuff like that, earthquakes, just ball bearings going wild. So, if you have an incline way too high, okay, you've got your gravitational pull, obviously pulling everything to the center. That's still real. Um, okay, think about this. You have an incline going up like this toward the sun. Obviously, it's going to be very hot rotating up towards the sun like that. It's going to be very cold down here, but that's not important right now. You got back years, back years, millions of years. That's why there's so many ball bearings in space, because it's millions of years old, this here design. Okay, you got that slant like this. Tons of ball bearings break out one day. Just going all over the place, Okay. They can't get away because the slant, like this, they're breaking from like the middle, okay? So they're coming up. They're breaking from the middle and they're coming up. They can't get away because the gravitational pull on the top is so strong right here that it's pulling them right back in, okay? So it blows a hole through the ozone layer, the atmosphere, all that, and all the heat gets in, dinosaurs gone, okay? Full on annihilation, okay? That is what's known as a geo bearing gravitational storm or gbgs for short the geo bearing okay breaks out snaps right back in killing everything that hasn't happened in a while you know why because we're on top of our maintenance game the dinosaurs were not so you think you've got it all figured out but you don't I'm telling you it's a conveyor belt earth all right okay now let me tell you something i have physical photographic evidence of this chart Probably not a big old official chart. My handwriting isn't nice enough to make it look like some kind of scientist's, you know, artwork or whatever. But I've got physical photographic evidence, okay? And down below this video, I will include a link to a page that I have created called Conveyor Belt Earth. Hashtag Woken. Because that's what you are. Eyes wide open.
okay all right link straight down you'll be able to find it you click it you like the page you join the page you join the group whatever all right you'll see photographic evidence we bought a six thousand dollar drone and we sent it up with a gopro strapped to it well we didn't it was primarily zip ties duct tape but there was also a ratchet strap involved it doesn't matter all that matters is we got it up there it took photographs parachuted all the way back down we got it collected it this is where the research came from physical photographic evidence there will be a link to the page in the bottom go to it you'll love it it's great stay woke everybody